Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and in this video I wanted to cover some of the cool sound design aspects of the Eric Whittaker Choir Library by Spitfire Audio. So someone left a comment on one of my past Exploring the Sounds videos, saying how they were kind of disappointed by the sound design capabilities of this library. And I kind of agreed with them, so what I did is I messaged Spitfire Audio, and I just said, you know, hey, it'd be kind of cool if every one of your custom libraries, you know, that's in this custom interface and not contact, if you scripted in some kind of synthesizer-esque control elements. So I kind of referenced eDNA Earth, which they released right before this library, and said, what if every one of your libraries that was supposed to be kind of realistic and orchestral had a synthesizer effects tab where you could add ADSR, filtering, LFO, saturation effects, etc. And they actually got back to me the next day. Uh, the person who replied to me said, Hey, that's a cool idea. I'll pass this on to the production team, but just to let you know, in the Evo library, or the Evo instrument that comes with the library, uh, there actually is kind of a setting like that that already exists. Um, he did, you know, admit that it's not to the extent that I was requesting, but that it did offer, you know, some of what I was talking about. So uh, this is a patch I made with just the uh, Eric Whitaker choir. There's no additional settings on it, so just keep that in mind. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just play something. So you can hear it's it's definitely not just a straight up choir and the way you access that is by going to the effects tab and then here you have saturation delay reverb but in here you actually have an ADSR so um, as we know as well as all the various uh, microphone positions but you can control the ADSR so I can make this like you know super short attack and release And I can also make this, you know, a super long release. And I can add a sustain of less than 100 and some kind of decay. Let me uh, make the sound a little more obvious in the Evo grid. I'll just put these all as simple. If I go into tape saturation, tape saturation, this is what it actually sounds like without it, which is kind of the standard choir sound you get, but. As you increase the tape saturation, you get kind of a synthesizer. And if you kind of increase the delay and the feedback, the reverb, sounds a little bit more like a kind of, you know, ambient pad. And that's, that's really the extent of what they, they did with this. So, you know, it's, it's not everything that you would hope for in terms of, of what I brought up to them. You know, it would be cool if in addition to these settings that they also had, you know, a, a low-pass filter and a high-pass filter, EQ settings, etc. Um, but still, you know, it is there, and the, there is a lot of power in this library just as is. You could, of course, put your own filter on top of it with an envelope follower, and then you really have a filter and an ADSR on a filter. So there's ways to get around that. But I just wanted to point out that some of what you would kind of hope to get in a, a library um, in terms of sound design capability, it, there is some of that present here, and it is good to know. So I just wanted to point it out, uh, help you guys find it, and also give Spitfire Audio credit for including it and actually you know, getting back to me and hopefully, you know, the person who I talk to actually will relay this information to their production team. And uh, maybe in the future, we'll see more sound design capabilities that are more synthesizer-esque and more of the realistic orchestral libraries. So yeah, enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.